starting next week, kids here at Greylock Elementary will soon have to show one of these to gain access to their lunch accounts. The district tells me it's the first school to implement the policy, but that the rest will follow suit by the end of next month. But I spoke with one parent about why she's choosing to opt her child out. I had to give consent for pictures to be used in public. I have to give consent for the nurse to give Tylenol, but to take their biometrics, they don't feel consent is important. Cara Roberts says she was shocked when her daughter came home from the first day of school with a letter telling parents of this year cafeterias in North Adams will use finger scans instead of lunch carts. I was horrified, <laughs> just horrified. In order for a child to get school lunch, there's no need for that kind of security. But the district disagrees. It says the biometric identification will help with lunch efficiency by cutting down on stolen lunch codes or forgotten cards. Students can't forget their fingers. It's always there. And where parents like Kara have expressed concerns of fingerprinting students and maintaining their child's privacy, Nicholas says it's completely secure. It is not fingerprinting. It is only scanning the finger initially during the enrollment. Nicholas says students simply touch a finger to the encrypted screen and within seconds their accounts are accessed and parents can even track what their child is ordering online. But Kara says she doesn't buy it and says her child will be opting out. She deserves her rights. She deserves to have privacy and security and not have her biological information tracked and sent out. Nicholas wanted me to reiterate that any parent with any questions or wanting to opt their child out of this program are welcome to do so. However, he says so far out of the district 1600 students, only 10 parents have contacted the district to opt their kids out. Reporting in North Adams, Liz Holiday, News 10 ABC.